13,000 IDs and 72,000 total images. By now, you've probably seen the news. T, the secure woman-only app, was allegedly hacked, exposing ID photos and other uploads. These weren't just usernames. These were government IDs with full names, addresses, and photos. It looks like T collected these IDs for identity verification on their platform. I'll start by saying I have no insider knowledge, and this is all based on things people have been reporting online. But from what I can piece together, these files were in a serverless platform called Firebase. It's totally possible to build secure apps on this platform, but it requires some effort. And if you get it wrong, anyone on the internet can read private data, file uploads, everything. If this sounds familiar, it's because Firebase misconfiguration happens constantly. Last year, it hit Arc Browser and made tech headlines. And I really, really hope this wasn't introduced by AI, but I have a feeling it might have been. So I built the exact same vulnerable setup to show you how this happens and how easy it is to prevent. All of the code from the demo is on GitHub with a link in the description. Let's get into it. Imagine a community app where everyone is ID verified. Just upload your photo and it'll end up in a queue for an admin to review. They look through it and they can choose whether they accept or reject you. We'll accept this user. In real time, the page updated and reflected the decision, and it was stupidly easy to build. That's the appeal of Firebase. Sign in, real-time database, file storage, app hosting, all with no servers to manage and no backend code required. And it scales all the way to the top of the app store charts. Behind the scenes, rule files run the show. How do I keep a regular user from editing their verification status? With a rule. How do I keep users from reading other users' data? Also with a rule. And it turns out that there's also a rule in the storage system. I'm speculating here, but the rules file probably looked something like this. Just let people read and write files. Sometimes AI tools write open files like this when they're trying to fix an access issue. Other times, it's just a misconfiguration. So even if I'm signed out, this policy lets me list all of the sensitive files. Names, addresses, government IDs, everything T promised to protect. Game over. To fix this, we just need to write a policy. Maybe something like users can interact with their own upload and admins can view all the files. In fact, I'll grab this rule and drop it onto the live storage bucket and publish the rules. Sure enough, if I hit this list button, now I've got an access denied. The attack stops working. If you're building on Firebase or any serverless platform, audit your rules today. It's the difference between great app and horrible PR nightmare. And if you're interested in code and other stuff, consider subscribing.